Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, uh, as the title says, I will be reviewing Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer Hot Air Brush. Um, this comes in five different color. Mine, the one that I will be using today is called Black Volumizer. And uh, before we start using the tool, let's put on the heat protectant serum. Uh, the one I'm using today is this one. Um, the story about this product. I was running low in heat protecting, uh, protecting uh, serum one day and I told my sister to pick one for me from the store and she picked this one for me. And I just don't like the smell of it at all. Something about this product smell, it just throws me off. But as long as it protects my hair and it, the smell doesn't last longer, I'll still continue using it until the product finishes, of course. And the next thing, uh, next step would be tying my hair up and uh, this rubber band that I got, the hair band that I got was from Ulta clearance section and it was only $2.97. I was very proud of it. So, you know, just showing you guys. <laughs> and... Uh, um about the hair dryer in general i don't hair dry my hair a lot i do it maybe once let's say three to four times a year i usually let it air dry yeah i forgot to plug in the hair tool <laughs> so i don't use hair dryer a lot and i've never owned a uh, round brush so today I'm tackling uh, two struggles of mine I hope you guys enjoy my footage because you will see some real struggles I just realized I need to untie my hair and uh, detangle it before I use the hot air brush
Yeah, my hair feels sleek as you guys noticed in the video you will eventually see what I would have uh, loved from that makeup brush tool would be a little bit a little bit volume because I like the sleekiness down here but then this I don't like it I wish there's a little bit volume so if you see me doing this a lot in a video it's because I wanted a little volume in my hair um, it was a, a Christmas gift from my brother and sister-in-law and I really enjoyed it um, I do feel like uh, instead of blow drying my hair and uh, grabbing a brush this thing is two in one so I kind of like that convenient I tried my best like uh, picturing how my hairdresser will do my hair in her salon and I tried to twist the brush you know multiple times I pulled my hair and uh, I didn't realize every time I swipe like comb my hair and then as I about to start I hit my head see this doesn't hurt doesn't hurt and but that brush that tool hurt and it's pricky so watch out for that and um, yeah that's all my hair does feel good but then again um, before I took shower I apply castor oil and coconut oil and I cooked it in my head with my shower cap for an hour for hours um, it could be the result of that mask uh, it could be this thing that I've been applying a lot Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Antifreeze Serum it could be so many things that my hair is looking slick and all I couldn't give all the credit to the hair product the hair tool but I the the thing I like is the convenient like I said it's very convenient and uh, yeah and it is my first time using that device uh, hopefully I'll get better at it and I cannot stop playing with this and another thing was um the whole 2020 was a mess because of pandemic the shutdown the quarantine started on march so i once a year i either i either color my hair on summer or a winter i'll do trim so because of covid last year i did neither of those the only color i applied on my hair was this magic root of l'oreal that is the only chemical stuff that i applied on my hair besides the um after every shower i would apply this serum mm, my hair has grown pretty um healthy i would say and uh, Fun fact, I've never grown my hair this long before. I've never grown my hair this long before. So, that is that. I'm loving all the... Um, I love my hair today. And, uh, yeah. Um, thank you for watching, you guys. And I hope my video kind of helped you in some ways. Because, yeah. I will see ya.